Whoops. Ooh. Grumpy little cat. Oh. Hi. Leather block here. Welcome to my channel. Live stream and for holiday ideas. You don't want to go out of the house and you're actually not because you're stuck in quarantine, but there is a Zoom party. And whatever the hell you guys are celebrating and you're doing it on camera, you're not leaving your house. So you might not even be dressed much partying on the bottom, but on the top, maybe you are. So here's some makeup ideas. And oh, I was really smart. And I put all this makeup here on a tray so that I could use my tomato room to do this. Right? And Cassie, you know what? You're just a grouchy little girl. Grouchy, grouchy, grouchy girl. My foundation has been the, the Ordinary, their uh, coverage foundation, and uh, my sunblock. I want to talk about sunblock. You still want to wear sunblock, even in wintertime. And I have a favorite current sunblock for the winter. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Part of it is because I got it at the 99 cent store. I won't lie. But another part of it is if you look at this formulation, it says water gel lotion. It has a helioplex, broad spectrum sunblock, quenches skin with hydration, but it's non-greasy. So if you have really oily skin, this is not going to make you feel like somebody just put some motor oil on your face. I really like that. It seems to go well with my skincare. And even with the winter time when I actually do a lot more in the way of moisturizing things, and I will actually occasionally put a drop of the face oil on my face, not more than once or twice a week because I don't have dry skin. But I really like this. And even though the... These are three ounce bottles and you can get four ounce bottles of another brand of SPF 30. I really like the formulation on this. I also noticed it doesn't go on as white. Now, normally I would like white cast because, well, I have am white if you hadn't noticed. But if those of you who really don't like a white cast because you're not white and you want something that you choose to wear makeup, I really like this stuff. Again, I wouldn't wear it in the summertime, but for the winter time, you know, and I, there's some people that won't go any lower than SPF 50. But I figure if I'm staying indoors, I will use, and I got up a bunch of these. So I think this is going to be until maybe March. This is going to be my already. But I'm going to use this from Sassy Lady, S-A-C-E. It's tiny, tiny, tiny little bit is all I need. And I'm going to put this right up against. I wanted to do this early enough so that I can use some of the natural light and I can see the sun is going down. So, you know what? At one point, I'm going to cover the part of the window with paper so that, um, just because I think it's a better idea. Unless, of course, maybe you guys want me to pick, uh, capture for you another drug dust, like, or whatever happened on my last live stream. I'm telling you, that was, and the funny and the sad thing is that I had, I did not call the law. I had absolutely nothing to do with that. This was something that somebody had already attracted their own attention. I'm still mad at myself that I went on the other day. I went on so much later than I intended to go on, but that was because I decided to try to earn some money. So I started working on this survey and I got all the way through uh, for this one of these many companies that I work for and damn thing said, congratulations, whatever. And then said, oh, sorry, but you did not qualify. You did not meet the requirements. Said, you sons of bitches. Uh, I spent almost two hours on this. Okay. And granted, I didn't want to film in this room at the time. You should have heard the talking. and Everybody was so loud. There are these people, they just would not leave. And this was the room I was going to do that live stream in. And I absolutely could not go in. And I just, man, I was so fit to be tied. You know, I was just really, really angry. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Um, I hope that this is going to, we support our, pops thing so that i can this is the first time i tried filming a makeup tutorial in this room but i really thought it would be good lighting here so okay the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to be using a bunch of palettes for this to get the golds and the greens and the blues i want to especially i want to use palettes i don't use a lot of some of this i'm going to use the bnh cosmetics color festival palette as far as greens go it has a very pale lime green matte and it has a, a green metallic here, and it has a really dark, dingy, almost black green here. 
and another palette that has a green in it is from Too Faced. This is the then and now that has the original palette on top and the modern day version of it. And this says uh, Too Faced circa 1998 and this is circa Too Faced circa 2018. And this is a palette that I'll admit I like better on the computer monitor than I did in person because it does have an awful lot of what I call neutral shades. So I don't use it very much, but where it shines, it has a dark and dingy kind of green metallic, and it has some really good golds in it. It has this gold here, and it has a gold here, and different colors have different textures. And of course, these have a scent to them. Hi, Char, how you doing? What do you think of my being able to grab both my cats at the same time? Is that something? But you know what, Tabby Boy, he's not stupid. He knows why I'm a about the film and he's hiding somewhere i think he's underneath my bedroom uh, my bed i can't find him anywhere unless, unless he's in my brother's room or something but i don't think he is my brother the cat's on t cassie oh my god speak of speak of look at this after all oh my god it's a good thing i picked her up from there she started to go in the windowsill and you know what's in the windowsill my coffee grinder. You know what's in my coffee grinder? It's not coffee beans. And I have an ashtray in there, and you know what's in there. Even though I better not talk too much about weed in this because I don't want them to take my uh, 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 ad sense off of here or, or whatever. I mean, one note, YouTube is governed by these robots, and they're really strict with this. And, you know, anyway, let's get back to makeup. You don't need any. She's so grouchy. She's so freaking grouchy. She's so pretty though. She's so grouchy. Ah, hairs all over me. Anyway, this has a lot of gold to choose from. And now, uh, this is another Too Faced palette that I've shown many times before. This is their Christmas star. This is from last year. And this, I liked it more on the internet than I actually did when I got it because as I'm about to show you, and as you've seen before, if I've shown it to you before, it has an awful lot of what I call neutrals. The show, shades are very subtle and their differences. They're pretty colors, but they're very, once you put them on and you wear them uh, after a couple hours, they all start blending. They look the same, you know? Um, and some of them are, they're all basically versions of uh, gold-tinged beiges, and they're very warm colors. They're just very flesh tony and um, and one thing though, the cheek colors they're nice and um, sheer, so you don't have to worry about overdoing, and you really don't want to overdo your cheek colors. But I find I really like best the purple one, and they have a metallic burgundy one, and they have a matte burgundy like a cranberry shade that i like the best but it has a green i'll give you a close-up show but it it shows up so dark it shows up almost like a metallic black a dingy metallic black you know so i don't use it when i'm looking for a green i really don't gravitate toward it now uh i suppose and the thing is if i'm looking for a gold these colors are too dark to be golds uh they just are and there's another, like, a metallic khaki color. But, again, it's too subtle. And if you're going for a holiday look, I don't think you really want too subtle. At least that's my perspective. But then again, I'm not really into subtle looks. When I show them on my channel, I do it so that I can offer variety so that shows something for everybody. But anyway, bottom line is that's what I brought to work with. Oh, and this, which has the brighter colors in it. But this, I did something boneheaded stupid. I dropped this twice today on the carpeted floor here. And thankfully, nothing happened. I would have been so pissed at myself. I mean, I got it half price, but still. It's a cute little palette, especially the outside. I still wish it had a real true green on it. This would be more, more um, complete if it had a really bright, green that was like um like an emerald green i would like it more so um so that would keep this that keeps this from being able to be that palette that you could bring by itself if you wanted all the colors of the rainbow so i usually use if i want to bring a rainbow palette i usually bring one of the bnh cosmetics to take me back to brazil palette either the original palette that's all matte or the rio version where they're frosty 
So, and I have used both of them when I needed to take uh, pallets in. Um, uh, oh, ooh, big save. I almost dropped this onto uh, a hard surface. That would not have been good. Yeah, no, are you going to start begging me to let you out? Okay, you want to go? Go. 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 Goodbye. Don't let the door hit you in the ass. All right, yeah, last thing I need is her uh, climbing around. I have a lot of, uh, I'm trying to organize my clothes, and I have certain clothes that it's so cold now that I really don't need to have them taking up weight in my closet. So this, I never used to hang most of my clothes in this closet before. This used to be just for the coats for the household. Uh, and, uh, but anyway, since I really need more hanging space for my own clothes, I've started to use this for clothes more and more, but I'm also trying to reduce the weight in my other closet by taking away the, uh, clothes that are really, that are hanging up that are for, for the winter time, or I mean for the summertime or for clubbing. And with this COVID-19, there's no clubbing going on right now. So there's certain clubs in, and it's too cold for me in, in the house for me to wear them, even on video. It's just really, really cold. You see, I'm wearing pants more and more. It's damn cold in here, especially this room here where we're, where I'm filming. Okay. So, and I figure so many people, I think it's important for my filming to reflect the current reality, even though this may be an evergreen video that you guys may be re watching for years. I don't know. But the current reality is most people are not going out to clubs because we don't want to spread this virus. And, and we're doing so many things using Zoom and Skype and everything. So I'm doing something that's reflecting our reality where it's, you know, party on top and the business or, or, you know, they say business on top, party in the bottom. But since we're focusing on the party, but that is what's visible and technically what's on the bottom should be nobody's business because it shouldn't even be on camera. So... Uh, but I did bring this with. So now that I've prepped the eyes, I'm going to take a look in the mirror to make sure that it looks good enough. I didn't bring anything else in the way of, um, I'm pretty sure in here, yes, I brought the eyeliner and the mascara and the lip color and everything and enough brushes. So I shouldn't need anything else. I shouldn't need to go out of the room. For anything else. So the first thing I'm going to do. Oh, and I. Oh my goodness. I hope I didn't forget to bring the brushes. Let me look. Um, brushes, brushes, brushes. Oh, okay, good. I did not screw up on anything. So I really like this bag. Um, I would have liked to have gotten it under better circumstances. This actually belonged to a friend of mine who died. But uh, it's cool that if you look at it, it has uh, big glittery sequins in the bottom of it. And it's the sort of thing that you can put makeup in it and take it with you to a nightclub. But I just thought it would be really great for what carrying brushes. Hey. Ooh, oh, 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 I'm going to have to check that out again. You know what I need to get that I, that I heard was still on sale? The uh, b &H Cosmetics uh, Tokyo Travel Palette. I've been eyeing that since it came out, but I didn't want to pay full price for it. And I decided that when it got to 50% off, I'd shop. But the thing is, since all these deep sales have been happening, I have been trying to focus real hard on working day job stuff and trying to and then i found out that it's getting close to the end of the year anyway so if i do more than one cash oh yeah and i like the i like some of those blushes i like some of those ones that are the are they eight packs of eyeshadows that i thought were pretty cool um but uh since i didn't make my decium sale i missed the 23 percent off sale completely Okay, I'm going to take this B&H Cosmetics Studio Pro number six. It's a big, fluffy bl blending brush. Hope you don't mind that I'm being a little leisurely with this. I've totally screwed up on the light. If you want to see that there is no more sunlight out there, you know, which means that, by the way, I don't want dealers and gangs to be seeing what I'm doing here. So I'm going to take something. I'm going to stick it in the window for my own protection you know 
So just a little discretion, you know. Now I am going to go for a brow bone color. One thing I could say about this palette here, it doesn't have anything pale enough for brow bone for the absolute palest person. So you still would need something kind of like a white or off-white shade, in my opinion. You know, you could still smell the, the scent. I thought for sure these uh, special scents they would have would make would disappear in these palettes, and it still smells good. Uh, that is uh, some gimmick. All right. Um, oh, in case I needed uh, highlighters, I decided to bring both the Zodiac palettes. This is the Zodiac Love Signs palette. This comes with a champagne colored highlighter in it. Uh, and uh, did I bring the other one? Yes, I did. This is the original uh, Zodiac palette by b &H Cosmetics. And you see this has a frostier, uh, cooler toned highlighter. And this I've gotten gotten a lot of use out of that highlighter as you can see and this has some matte purple shades so that's where this palette shines but in my opinion both of these zodiac palettes have a lot of really weird neutral colors they're intense but they're just i think odd but with the right skin tone and with the right person and somebody that doesn't mind um uh, those kind of colors, that's fine. I just, I really do prefer the brighter things. But, okay, I'm going to start with a brow bone color, and I'm going to use this big fluffy brush, and I'm going to go ahead with the palest color here in the Color Festival palette. And every color has a name, and this color is called Disco. It looks white. It's actually a real pale rose gold, I guess. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the computer to show it um if you couldn't tell that blue sweater was a quote-unquote christmas ugly sweater and i always have it out in case i have something to, to go to i wanted on dance floors before but i have a sneaking suspicion there won't be any dance floors this year uh i'm going to repeat that on the other eye and uh, I hope neighborhood sounds don't start to get too bad now. You're going to be hearing clicking sounds of a door that they fixed the lock on, I'm glad. But, uh, oh man, I'd hate to be sleeping here and hearing that door. Everything I complained about the other church door slamming. Now that they have this, but at least it has a lock on it that keeps some of the riffraff out. But it seems like they're just making keys for all the riffraff. Okay, um, I'm going to get closer to the light. See if you can see that. That's really subtle. It's not meant to be necessarily so obvious a white, but just a nice highlighted version of your skin tone. I'm going to do it again and try not to mess up my eyebrow color. Oh, and I did a little bit of a mistake when I did my eyebrow color today. I've been using this palette and the dark, the fuchsia matte color and one of these dark colors here on the margin as to make the eyebrow. Uh, so I don't use up the liquid lipstick that really is my preferred shade. I'm, I'm running very low on them. So anyway, I use the darker color instead of the lighter color first. And when you use the darker color, then the, uh, the fuchsia color doesn't show up as much. So next time, I will not make that mistake again. You know, I think it's important to show your failures as well as your successes when you're doing these videos so that when you make a mistake, you can kind of uh, person up about it, admit that, hey, I tried this and I, it really did not work. And you see how, what an impact this made. So don't make the same mistake as I made. I'm going to put this brush, hold this brush in this cute little Too Faced makeup thing. I specifically cranked out an order just so I could get this bag. I thought it was the cutest thing when I got it. And admittedly, I expected something sturdier than what this is. This is rather flimsy. It's very see-through. But the zipper is never broken and it holds 
a nice little assortment of things. Hi. That's H-E-M-I-S. Hi. You know, I didn't bring my Ben Franklins with me. Thanks for tuning in. Can you believe that uh, YouTube sent me a little note saying that my latest, not the latest live stream I did, but the gardening live stream, organic gardening live stream where I mentioned tomatoes and cannabis, they deliberately slapped an 18 and up over thing. So I said, you know what, today's stream, I got to make it totally friendly for aliens, kids, illegal aliens, the Pope. Nobody has got to have any fault with anything. And since um, I no longer have my little friend, you could see I just have my tomatoes. You want to see my tomatoes? My pretty little tomatoes. You see them? This one and flower there and uh, and my lettuce. See, I love my lettuce. I need to get some ramen noodles so that I could pinch off those leaves and put them in ramen. I haven't had ramen in, in so long. Some, you know, some people think of that as poor food, but I always loved it. And I remember when I actually, like well, I told you a story in another a live stream about having uh, a landlord in Los Angeles that worked for Neeson Foods. So uh, that was cool. Neeson Foods is in Gardena and I was living in Torrance. So uh, I just thought that was cool. You know, and uh, so much about that situation was cool. The only thing that wasn't cool about that situation was the uh, the cockroaches. I hate cockroaches. I don't do bugs. I don't do bugs. No, 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 no. I don't do bugs. I will not live with bugs. No, 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 no. Thank you. So, yeah. All right. Next thing I'm going to do. Um, now, I'm going to do things in a different order because all things don't need to be on the same order. Uh, um, one of the things that I want to do in my videos and that I hope to not only because I don't think most of you guys need to be taught anything, really. But one of the things I like to evoke is a feeling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go and get a lip color. And I'm going to put it on. Of course, some of the things that I thought were lip colors actually ended up being those liquid eyeshadows. And black and sparkly was not what I wanted to go for. Um, uh, yeah, yeah well, natural light definitely went bye-bye. Oh, you know what? I actually don't have a decent lip color in here, so I'm going to go back into my room and just do what I said I wasn't going to do. You know? What's going on? Uh -huh. What's going on? Oh, oh, Cassie, good Cassie girl. Which one did she take? She's uh, up against the uh, potato sacks. Oh, she's at the metal one? Yeah, she's at the metal one. What's this? Chicken broth from, from the bone broth? Uh huh. Okay. Cassie, oh, the Cassie is getting, uh, is eating. Some Cassie bone bro some bone broth. I, I don't want you guys to hear that Christmas music and me get a copyright strike. Oh yeah, I need to get um, lip color. Anyway, we made we have been making or rather my mother's been making bone broth with chicken bones. And oh look who's here. And anyway, she set some aside, you know, before we start putting the things that are poisonous for cats, like uh the onions and the garlic and the herbs and the spices. So we have some plain, and you also don't want to cook things in the bones and bone broth because you don't want bones to soak things up. You want to just have the plain old chicken. Anyway, we have a, a his and her bone broth with chicken pieces. And my mother set aside some of, I have some leftover steamed rice. I swear by my electric rice cooker and I always am making, I never get tired of rice. And uh, so, anyway, 
the cats have been going crazy over the food situation. They're running low on the cat food situation. So they're actually using treats as cat food right now and making all kinds of homemade food and stuff. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, oh, and, and Tabby Boy, uh, did you like the deer meat? I don't remember. I, I think they both did that, you know. Yeah, Tabby Boy, you show everybody wants to see how beautiful you are. Right? Hey, show them. Show them. Hey. 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 Yes? He's my baby? Okay. Uh, all right. I'm actually in here. Oh, I want you guys to see something. Cassie has been acting up lately. She will not let me sleep at night. I finally, I, I have been so sleep deprived. I finally, before midnight last night, I went to bed. I actually put a barricade in front of my door. I used my uh, little table where my computers usually are because I usually work when I'm sleeping and stuff. And I locked them out of my room last night. Cassie, she started acting up today. I put her in Ace the Cat's old office for a while. She needed a timeout. I could not deal with it. She's just running around like they're on drugs. You know, like somebody got, imagine if I was on speed and I had a speed stash and they broke into a, <laughs> I swear to you. And that's not, an, that's not, not a part of my life. It hasn't been a part of my life since uh, shortly after 9-11. So if you want to find any speed, it's not going to be in this house. And uh, the lady who died, well, I got Cassie. That wasn't the kind of drugs that she was on. I think she was on the, the heroin, the kind that people actually OD from. So I don't know, but the way that cat has been bouncing off the walls. I'm sorry, but you know, I just, I, I couldn't deal with it anymore. I was really getting frustrated to the point where I'm locking the cat out of my room and I'm not like that. She has been climbing on, I'm going to show you something. She climbs on top of this surface. She gets on top of here, you know, and cause especially if tabby boy is here in the window and she doesn't want to have a negative interaction with him. So she'll climb on top of here. Then she'll go down there that way. And um, she gets on all these surfaces. She was batting at these things. And I, I used to have things hanging down here, like that I had my uh, different lipsticks and different things. These are where I keep my red lipsticks. This little thing, I hung that on there. This leopard thing is where I keep my neutral lipsticks. The cat, she started batting at them, destroying at them, smacking at them. That's not cool. Then, do you recognize this thing here? This was hanging over there too. The sequin thing, she was batting at that, smacking at that. And I already had to take down necklaces that were over there because they were playing at them. Both of them were playing. Well, actually, Tabby Boy was especially playing with them. When they start acting, playing with your stuff and destroying your stuff, nah, that's bullshit. And you just have to hide your stuff. Cats are bad. I don't know what it is with them. They're, you know, and Tabby Boy, if I'm not giving him enough attention, he'll start clawing uh, it, the, the base, you know, the woodwork and stuff until he gets yelled at. Because at least him reacts when you yell at him because he can hear. Cassie, it does no good to yell at her because she can't hear. And it's a really frustrating thing. You know, like, okay, I'll show you places where she's not supposed to be. Look, she knocked all this over. This was a whole mess. I mean, this is ridiculous. I had empty boxes set up so that to use as tripods so that I could put my balance my computers on, you know, for my turnaround and different things. All these things set aside. And what does she do? But she knocks things over. Anyway, yeah, it's just really annoying. I'm going to just bring both these damn things in here. You know, because of this cat, I look like hell longer than I have to because she's a little hell raiser. Oh. Oops. Uh, oh, now I don't understand. That's supposed to be Christmas music. That is depressing. That is miserable to me. My taste in Christmas music is um, stuff from the good old days, you know, happy, feel good music, not stuff that sounds like a funeral dirge. You know, Christmas should be a happy time. I know eventually it doesn't work out for Jesus, but you know, you're celebrating somebody's birthday. It'd be like, you know, when I think of John Lennon music, I think of the Beatles, all that happy stuff. I don't think about the very last day when, and I won't say the jerk ball's name, the guy, you know. So, but I'm just a bit of a germaphobe. Of course, I should have put alcohol on my hands before. Matter of fact, yeah, I should do that. This fell down. Oh, God, these cats. I love them. 
But uh, this has a white in this Christmas store palette. I really like that it does that. But you can see that's being used. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did some damage to this. When it fell down, you see the corner of this fell out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully put it back in and I'm going to press it in. But I'm going to use my thumb because I know my fingers can't be clean. You know. Uh, I'm glad I found the plastic. You know, when you buy new makeup palettes, they come with a plastic thing. They usually do anyway. It keeps things from shifting in transit. And, uh, Anyway, I'm glad I found it for this. Now, I am I am going to uh, clear a path. And I'm going to wash my hands because all this handling of the kitties, that was kind of scuzzy. You know, you can't demonetize this video, but there's nothing here to get me complain. Anybody could see this. You too. Oh, okay. So, anyway, you like this shirt? This shirt actually does not fit, but I tied a knot in it. I just didn't have the heart to get rid of it, even though eventually I might. I love all the ruffles on it, and it's got, I made it as small as possible. I wish I knew how to. It's the kind of thing that because of the weave, even if I did find a way to cut some of the fabric off and sew it back in, it would probably fray. So, yeah, if I'm going to be touching my face, I shouldn't be having uh, kitty germs. Kind of cloth that seemed to do a really good job of absorbing moisture. I think it must be that chamois cloth that they use to clean cars. It's not supposed to scratch them. Um, but I find that they're really good for face washing, even though I prefer a real textured face thing for you know exfoliating the skin. But this kind of cloth is also good. I like that they dry fast. And then I could use them kind of as a towel when I wash my hands when I can't wait for it to air dry. Because you can't touch surfaces with moist hands. You, bread, you spread germs around and I don't want to do that. So. Anyway. All right. Now, one thing that I have to think about is I keep on handling the computer and I don't think it's all that sanitized. So what I... Oh, darn. I thought I had the alcohol. Oh, yes. Okay, look. Alcohol pads. These are so wonderful. If you have a big box of them, and these things have a good amount of... Now, I'm not going to touch the trackpad because I'm afraid if I do that, I'm going to uh, accidentally turn this thing off. I don't want to do that. Uh, one nice thing about Chromebooks, and I'm filming on my Chromebook. You, if you don't know already, my Lenovo... I think it may have bit the big one. Uh, I'm going to need to take that to Best Buy along with every other piece of current equipment I have and uh, see if I could salvage that. I have a couple, I have two makeup tutorials stuck in my Lenovo, but at least I can live stream on this. Uh, that's the only kind of content I could produce on this Chromebook because it doesn't have a real hard drive and it is almost all used up as far as my Google photo thing. Uh, so I can't do anything that uses up space in here. Uh, so, okay. All right. Now I've got clean hands and I can touch my face. again. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my beautiful bag of brushes and I'm going to play with some more makeup 
And I don't want a big thick brush. I want uh, one of my Vivace brushes from the 99 cent store. Very versatile brush. It didn't have a name on it. You can deposit color. You can blend it out. It's not big and thick. You can use it all over your face. You can even use it for highlighting if you want. But I am going to... Let's see. I am going to start off with... Okay, one of the things I want to do is I want to encompass both Christmas and Hanukkah. So Christmas, obviously, you think of green, and you can think of gold, too. But Hanukkah, a lot of people think of blue. So I'm thinking starting off with gold and then going to the green and then going to the blue. So with gold, we got lots of options here. So um, let's see. Let's go where the gold really shines is in this Too Faced palette here. Mmm, still smells like chocolate cake. Mmm, I would like some chocolate cake right now. I don't know about you. Uh, I am going to load up on... There is a color called Twinkie. That is a real nice look. Oh, oh, I'm glad. Well, that was a save. The brush did not go someplace bad. Okay, I'm going to load up this color. Matter of fact, I want you to see this color real good. Okay, I want you to see the kind of gold it is. So I'm gonna see. And I am going to grab this. Gotta find out the best place for See, that's the thing is, I can't really see. Oh, I wish I could. Let me try this. Oh, oh you see, this is way too dark. Yeah, I would need to, if I could move that all the way over here, that would be great. All right, I'm going to see... I see this is why I've never done this in this uh, room before. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try so hard using my computer monitor as a mirror. I'm focusing in the crease from the corner on. Uh, I'm getting going kind of generous with this color. It's not a real light gold, so it'll actually show up on people with really pale skin. And it'll show up no matter whether you have your eye closed or your eye open. Let me see if it does look okay. I'm going to try this. This is pretty much what I did. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to do some more on the other side. And uh, You see why it was important to do that other shade closer to the uh, brow bone? That way, when you did this color, it doesn't bleed all the way up into... Uh, let me check. I always like to make it a little bit more intense. Especially considering a lot of people are using uh, cell phones, uh, using their cameras. To do these calls and their cameras are really really good quality i'm so impressed all the time when i see what they can do so if you know the camera equipment is going to be showing off very high definition you want to go vivid and, and you know do all these things since you can since it's the holidays why not you know i mean i find the colors are very cheerful for me it cheers me up and don't we need a lot of cheering up right now? Okay. Now, I would like to accentuate this with a paler gold. Now, you saw how, compared to the other golds here, there's a variety of golds. I want to try that lighter gold on top that seems like it has kind of some green in it. 
and I'm going to use another Vivace brush, a, a brush that deposits and blends and is narrow enough that you could also use it in the crease. And I'm going to go in this color. And this color has a name too. This color is called Pixie Dust. Mm. Just do a good, good coating of the color on. And uh, it's just on top of the computer, but these things have magnets, and magnets computers are a very, very no, 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 no uh, combination. I wish could, you know, I would see so much better what I was doing if I could do that. Um, yeah. I like the quality of Too Faced. Uh, and, uh, but you know what? If I couldn't catch sales, I couldn't. Uh, for years, I thought of their makeup as unattainable. I would see the specials on QVC and HSN, and I saw that it was just this really high-end kind of stuff. I love Jared and his boyfriend, now husband. I thought that they were really nice people, very personable. They seemed like they loved their fans. They seemed fun. They seemed like they cared about the pulse of what people in the beauty community wanted. But that said, um, I wish that they would do more bright colors in their palettes. So many of their palettes seem to be so neutral heavy that they look better uh, in the uh, on the monitor than I they end up being when I get them, and that really bums me out. Like now, if I could do it all over again, I honestly don't think I would have bought that Christmas star palette. You know, it was all just very very neutral. I love the purple and I love the cranberry shade, um, but and. You know, maybe if, it, and I'm glad that it had the white. I really am glad for the white. I noticed even as far as the highlight shade is not really light enough to be an effective highlight for me. Uh, and, you know, I don't know. I just don't think I would have bought it again. I'm going to go over again with the pixie dust. And I'm just going underneath. This also is a way of correcting if you think you went a little too overboard with your eyebrows doing this can you know I, I've occasionally gotten some comments on Facebook from people that didn't care for the eyebrows but then again the people that are the most critical are the people that don't seem to wear makeup at all alright so if they're not makeup wearing people then that's just kind of out of their world and out of their comfort zone and I can't let and if people if their first words to you ever are only critical you know I can't let that affect me or my oxygen space so all right let's get some more color now now I want to go for something that is a little bit more overtly green and I'm going to get another brush and I'm so concerned that all of a sudden the dirt bags are going to discover that they've got spots to occupy and they're going to ruin this. So I really want to get this done before that happens. Okay, now I'm going to use the BNH Cosmetics Color Festival palette, the palette that is my miracle palette. And the reason why it's miracle, hello from Delaware. Oh, Delaware is one of my favorite states. You want to know why Delaware is one of my favorite states? Because they have no state sales tax. And my Aunt Joan, my late great Aunt Joan, you know what? Four computers ago, I had a computer shipped to her house so that I didn't have to pay a couple hundred bucks, 1500 bucks, 1700 bucks. And you know how they get you. The tax man gets you. He bites you in your back. But so anyway, yes, I love Delaware for that. And you, oh, another thing, Delaware, they no longer will let people use foot traffic on the Delaware Loose Ferry. You have to stay in your car. So if you don't have a car and you think you could just take a bus down to Cape May, get on the Loose Ferry to Delaware, you can't do that anymore. Thank you, COVID-19 and the powers that be. I never got to go down here to go shopping. 
one of these days I want to go and do a tax-free shopping thing. But yeah. Anyway, hello from Delaware. So this color festival palette, the reason why it's my miracle palette, I thought I lost it. I thought I accidentally threw it out. For months, I was griping and moaning about this. And I got it for, uh, real cheap. I got it for $4, like 80% off sale. Okay. One day, I was digging around in the hallway looking for something else. Because this house eats things. Found this uh, uh, bag, purple bag, wrapped, you know, those uh, all-purpose uh, forever tote bags for shopping. And what was in it but this? I did not lose it. Oh, yes. I'm so happy about that. So let's dip, dip into... A green here. Uh, I am not going to... Yes, I'm going to start off with this really weird lime green color. It's called Haze. I'm going to take another Vivace brush. Now, this is an Avon brush. It's a two-sided brush. One brush goes like this, and another is a eyeliner brush. And two brushes for one. I'm going to dip into this color called Haze. Big old... And... And... Set this down where I'm not going to drop it and break it. And let's see if I can see in the mirror here. I'm going to start on the eyelid itself. And I'm going to look in the mirror to see if that did any damn good. Uh, okay, I'm going to I'm going to repeat what I did in front of the mirror so that I can see. I don't know how this is going to do you any but I'm I'm starting in the corner and I'm just going out like this. And it's kind of subtle, but and this is supposed to be like I guess it's more of a chartreuse than anything else. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now now, I'm going to go get another brush. And I am going to get B&H Cosmetics Studio Pro number 17. And I'm going to get another green, a much brighter green this time. A green that looks like a green. I'm going to use this color, says Electronic. It's a very emerald green metallic. And it's a green that actually looks like a green. And I think we need a green that looks like a damn green, don't we? You know, I'm not looking for a yellow and uh, gold look. I'm looking for something that looks like... Yeah. You see what I'm doing here? I'm kind of sweeping... Lower crease, kind of, sort of. And dipping into here. Doing the same thing. Following the curve of the eyeball. See as far as I'm going, as far as where your point, your eyebrow goes. Back and forth, maybe load it up again. Now, let's see what it looks like. Okay, let's step in the bathroom and let's color correct or see what it looks like in the lighting. Every lighting, lighting is different in every room. I'm sure every house is like that. Oh, oh I thought this light was good. Was I on drugs? Gosh. I, yeah. Um... Now, the light in the other bathroom before the lighting fixture broke, that was a much yellower light. But, with, am I still on? Oh, it tried to say that I was offline. No, I'm right in front of the uh, bathroom mirror. I don't know why this is telling me that I'm flickering on and offline. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I hope it doesn't do that here in the grow room. All right. I need some blue. And I'm going to get 
Well, I was going to get a bigger fluffy brush, but you know what? I don't want to get too big a brush because then it'll be too overwhelming. And blue can get too much if you use too big a brush. All right, I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to use a C brush from ELF, E-L-F. And this is a real good detailing brush. Do you? Thank you. Uh, I have to give all the credit for them to this palette here. It's easy to take off at night when it's just late and uh, you just want to wash your face and not have to use a whole lot of oil. And then I, I'm pretty much just use a soapy cleanser and I'm able to wash my face if I don't mind some scrubbing. All right. Now, for blue, I'm thinking let's start with this Tarte Let It Rainbow palette. I still do think that the cover is better than the actual colors. And this blue here, it's matte. And I'm going to... Now, let me see if I can still, if you guys can still see what I'm doing, even though I'm looking in my mirror. I really don't want to screw this up. I'm actually getting on the lid here and on the lid here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the wing up. And by the way, I could see where I got a whole lot of smudge here. I'm going to. I don't know how good a you, view you can see this. this so I'm going to do some blending. This is going to look really harsh right now, but I'm going to show you what it looks like before I blend it. I want them to be as symmetrical as possible before I do the actual blending. So, and I might end up using a different blush, a different brush to do the blending, but I really want things to this doesn't look like it's the same size on here sometimes thank you um i really love this little palette it's so nice and portable and it looks so nice when you pull it out of your purse when you're in, in a nice place you know i can't wait till this pandemic is over and we can actually go nice places and show off our palettes and stuff you know You know, one of the things I miss about going to clubs is when you're in the ladies' room and you pull out your makeup to do a touch-up and it strikes up conversations, you know. I've even had conversations on the dance floor with men who knew about makeup. They'll notice a palette and everything. And this doesn't happen a lot, but, you know, depending on the kind of club you're at and stuff. Uh, okay, while I still have this uh, out, I'm going to take this brush again and I'm going to get the edges of it and I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can use the uh, monitor for this. Now if I lean up against the wall I can't fall and I'm going to try to follow the closely the edge of the eye and then I will do it again on the other side. So I never did what I said I was going to do. I said that I was going to put lipstick on soon so that I still look kind of festive while I was working on this. And because of the not having them, you know, not being prepared like that, I ended up not doing that. Now I'm going to take a look at what that looked like with here. Oh, I've got to do something about the smudging. And I have some extra brushes here with me. Uh, where did I put them? Oh. Oh. Here. 
this nice big, 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 big. I have a, usually the brush I use to clean up my crumblies. I have this really big Mark by Avon brush that has a real long handle that's so big I really can't carry it much many places and it's tricky to store it doesn't fit in anything that I keep any of my brushes it doesn't fit in almost any of my bags that hold makeup palettes in it at all except for the ones where I wouldn't want bristles of a brush touching usually the outside of something it would be probably the germiest thing and I wouldn't want to contaminate the bristles and stuff so anyway I'm going to see if this is going to be able to clean this off without no, you know what? I think I'm going to get my wash claws. Hold on a second. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I always set out to try to be so organized, but I think the whole thing of live streams, and especially since there's no way you could do any editing with a live stream, so you get to see a lot of reality. And, you know, if people could be upfront with, where they're experimenting or where you're got to ring it. And a lot of this is winging it. I bet I'm making this worse. But you know, the nice thing about these things is they do kind of do a good cleaning job. And then I could just go and put some more makeup on top of, and that's what I think I'm actually going to do. But what I'm going to do is since I have two different colored ones, I'm going to, See if I made a whole big mess. Yeah. Um, it might not be that bad because I'm really not done with the colors I wanted to do underneath there. But okay, I'm going to add some more foundation. This is where maybe some people would go ahead and do a concealer, but I'm just going to go ahead and use my foundation. I can't use the eye coat because that is actually a little bit darker than my skin color. Just the tiniest amount. And hopefully I won't smear chartreuse and green all over my nose. And if I do, we'll just learn that I did too much. I don't have a ring light. I don't have any fancy filters. I don't know how to do that stuff. And right now I'm filming on a Chromebook, so I definitely am not doing this with any high-tech abilities. So let's see if I took care of the smearing. Yes, I did. Okay. Now I want to add a real skinny green. And I want to get a really skinny brush. Options are so important with brushes. Uh, I could use this brush, but you know what? I think I might want something thinner, or I might want I might need that for some more detailing work. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use this real thin eyeliner brush, and it could also be used for eyeshadow. Uh, again, it's by Vivace. I got it at the 99 cent store. Uh, I want to hang these up someplace to let me get a hanger. And here, if I hang these things. These are real useful kind of hangers. I can use these for so many things or hang groups of things and organizing things and, you know. All right. Now, more options we have here. There are some videos where I plan everything out ahead of time and I map things out and stuff, but this is not one of these videos. This is a video. I just had a general idea of the colors I wanted to use. I have a blue here, but it's not really the color blue that I wanted to get. This looks brighter on camera than it actually is. It's actually a very pale color. This looks so pretty on camera, but this is really very, very, very pale like a baby blue. And so I'm not going to use it. I'm not feeling it. You know? You gotta feel it. So I want 
a brighter blue. And you know what? I have a brighter blue. Oh, and I'll be damned. I had the color that I was thinking of getting all the time for the lips. I had a lip color. But you know what? This probably goes more for a red. But I have a blue that I wanted. Here's a blue eyeliner. This is a Sephora Colorful Eyeliner Waterproof. And the color is called Pool Blue. Uh, okay, I'm going to mount this on this police sign. And so I can very carefully use a palette mirror to do this. And I will do some eyeliner. And I haven't forgotten that I have some blending to do. Nice, vivid, dark eyeliner. Uh, I'm going to Actually, I'm going to start with the lower, the bottom. Okay, I don't know how obvious that thing was. I thought I was going to do it on top, and then I realized that the, oh, I already had the blue, but that probably wouldn't even show up. So, don't worry, I have a black eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and use the mirror. Oh, my sinuses are going. I had to take a red pill, Sudafed, um, a couple hours ago. And it hasn't kicked in yet. It's really annoying. No, not really. My mother and I have been talking about it. Um, I'm doing, uh, I got one more load of laundry to do, and then the laundry will be off one of the kitchen tables. And where the TV is, um, and the laundry, normally laundry wouldn't be in front of the TV, but it's in front of the TV now. I'm working on whites as we speak. After I do the whites, I'm going to do the darks. And then after that, there won't be any more laundry there. And then I will be able to, I want to clear off the table. And then uh, usually we take uh, Christmas tree, uh, Christmas uh, cards and put them on the wall. Sometimes, depending on how many there are, I put them in a shape or I line the kitchen walls, or I do the back wall. The back wall is usually where we would put a tree, but we didn't do a tree at all yet last year because we were thinking about moving, and we were just very... Different things were going on in the neighborhood, and we kept on wishfully thinking of how nice it would be to move, even though it really wouldn't have been possible. And anyway, things... Yeah, we, the extent of our decorating was my mother has this tiny little styro, uh, ceramic tree that has lights in it that uh, one of her friends made for her that has a couple of ceramic cats on it. And uh, we have a few things like uh, the bell that we've had since I was four months old uh, that, uh, that there's a story behind it. I have a, a list. I have a playlist called Leather Rocks Christmas that has um, episodes of past Christmases. I would like to do some cooking this year for Christmas. Uh, we now have another bag of sugar if I can keep my paws off it. But uh, the um, the brownie mix for the pot leaf shake brownies that I'm going to be making, that doesn't need anything else in it. It's uh, one of those mixes that you just put the, uh, bring, put the eggs and the oil in it. Uh, I don't think it needs anything else except for what, you know, special stuff I'm adding to it. So, uh, I, 
I think I need another, do I need green more? This needs something. I think I need to do some blending because it feels like this. there's something this needs. Oh, and I just dumped half of my makeup brushes in with a bag of Christmas decorations, or a box. This is a box of Christmas decorations that has literally been here for uh, a couple of years. We usually keep the Christmas things all in one place. We have a couple of, we have a, a foot locker. It's nothing but Christmas stuff. And the box containing the artificial tree. They have a lifespan. We had one, they had built in lights, and the lights start, stopped working on the bottom. And it became. Um, finally, my mother said, throw it out two years ago. And uh, then I started making my own Christmas trees using branches from trees. And I made videos about that if you want to check them out. The thing is that any kind involving live trees, they smell great, they look great, but they leave such a mess. And a year later, the cats are playing around with pine needles in the hallways. And I mean, I was taking out bags, I was sweeping, I was vacuuming. And the thing is, as much as you try replenishing, like I used vases, big vases, and I would pour water in. You got to keep the water up on anything involving pine trees. Any, you know, anything trees, tree branches, they dry out. And anyway, even with submerged in water, they still dry out. You've got to be careful. But yeah, I love tree smells. Okay, I want to get a big fluffy brush and I got to do some blending. And you know what? I'm going to use this big B&H Cosmetics. No, it's an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Well, they may call it a concealer brush, but guess what? Any brush can be used for anything. I'm going to get the mirror in front of my face, sort of, kind of, and I'm going to see what's too much. And I'm just going to focus on what feels like it's too much, and I'm just going to blend the harshness of that. And then I'm going to clean it off with my hand, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, just whatever's, whatever's too much. And then I'm going to look at this, I'm going to think, what does this look need? Okay. This is a very, very vivid look. I'm thinking, what does it need? I think it needs something that looks like a white. That's what I think it needs. Now, this has a white here, but the thing is, it's more of a very pale gold. And unless you get it really, 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 really opaque, I don't know that it's going to be effective, but I'm going to try. But I'm going to need to get a packing brush. Maybe even something that can be used as an eyeliner. But not something really, really tiny like that. That's too small. I want something that I could get a thicker line on. And this 17 would give me the right size. But it's such a soft brush, and I want something that can deposit color more. So you know what? This will be the brush. And this is a Vivace brush. It's a takeoff of a C brush. It's good for depositing color. Thank you. I'm going to add some white to this. And the C brush, I'm going to go back into this Color Festival palette, and I'm going to go for something that looks remotely white. And I'm going to load it real good. And I am going to put, first of all, put the brush I'm not using down. I'm going to step back here so that I can see what I'm working with here. Very carefully now. I'm going to see if I can balance this computer on my knee, kind of, sort of. i got to make sure not to touch this to the computer, though, because I don't want to demagnetize things, you know. I'm going to get this. Make sure that this is really good. You know what? I don't trust. I, I'm not an octopus. I only play one on TV. I'm not doing a good job with this. So I'm going to try to get back where I think where I need to lighten this up, where I need to open this up. I need more white here. 
really, really, really need more white. There. Clean this off. Add some more. Uh, to brighten this up some. I need to lighten this up some. And not in a harsh way, but in a skin tone way. Now, if you're darker, you might want to skip this step. This is, I'm just trying to make it a little less harsh. Even though if it's a holiday look, glam and harsh might very well be synonymous. I don't know. It's all on your own personal aesthetic. I mean, to me, excess is best. That's just my take, you know. I don't, it's not my job to corrupt the world, but I know what I like. And I know, especially now when everybody has to wear face masks and things, there now is the time to let the eyes do the talking. You know? And that said, you're doing these things on computer, showing things off to the world. You're probably not wearing a face mask, so you can do anything you want with your makeup. Well, I'm going to use this mascara, and I think I'm going to... I should go ahead and use a red lip, or do you think that would be too much? Or do you think maybe I should just use a nude lip? Even though it's the holidays, you shouldn't have to use a nude lip. But then again, the eyes are so bright. Maybe a, a more of a nude lip would be better. So I'm going to see. Plus, there's different degrees of nude lips, you know. Uh, here's something that I find myself going to again and again. This is an actual MAC lipstick. And normally, if I'm going to invest in a MAC, like I had a black lipstick that I got called Media or something Media. And um, I needed to, I needed a lipstick when, because I left my makeup at home and I was on my way to see Typo Negative in New York City. And you cannot be a self respecting fan of Typo Negative and not have your makeup with you. And I decided, let me go ahead and get. A lipstick which was an, an abomination of $15 at the time. And I thought I boxed the price in, but I got it. Uh, I, anyway, now the cheapest uh, lipsticks there are $19. The price has just kept on going up. So if I couldn't afford them then, I don't, can't afford them now. But this was a free gift from Ulta last year. So I'm going to use this. And you know what? I'm going to put it on now. Oops. Oh, and I'm about to stop my makeup from falling into a candle. I have a scented candle burning in this room so that it doesn't reek so much of marijuana. I'm going to use this mirror. And I just got the feeling if I put red lips with this, I would look too much like that chick Mimi from that uh, comedy. I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, with the oh, I don't remember the name of the show, but they use as a theme that song Cleveland Rocks, and the guy Jim, Jim Carrey, no Drew Carey, was the uh, lead character. This is before he lost weight and became the t talk the game show the uh, yeah game show host. Oh, and the natives are getting restless, so I can hear. Okay, that's what... And this color is called Toasted Teddy, by the way. And this mascara is by Yankina. 36H, 36 hours, lengthening mascara, waterproof. And while we can hear people outside, I'm going to go ahead and put... The mascara on. I really don't mind this mascara at all. I like to see how it performs outside more. I don't know if I've really worn it out. I really most of the time when I slip out to do something surreptitious like mailing a letter or something I go out in disguise. 
I don't wear a stitch of makeup. I just have my skincare on. I hide my hair under a hat. I wear a face mask that totally makes me look like Daffy Duck. And uh, the only thing that gives me away to people around me who know me is if I, if they know my voice. You know, there are so many reasons to keep a real low profile. My mother said that she heard some things when she watches these on-demand YouTube videos of a news nature that Comcast has available. You just use your uh, Comcast remote. Even if they've shut off your cable because you owe for your TV service, they still allow you to access a limited selection of subject matter, including stuff about the election, including stuff about COVID-19, you know, stuff that I think is the most important anyway. So, and you can get almost unlimited selection of movies. So my mother has been really enjoying, she's watched over 300 movies since this pandemic started, by the way. Uh, so I'm glad at least she's able to get some kind of enjoyment in life since this all, all started. You know, I mean, since this all started, she's had friends pass away and they didn't catch COVID. It wasn't how they died, but still, can you imagine losing people? And that means you have even less people to talk to, you know? So for a person like my mother, she really appreciates talking to people on the telephone. She's never been intimidated or scared of the telephone. I mean, not that I know of anyway. Okay, get the under eye. The only thing, reason why I might not be getting any more Asian cosmetics, uh, if it is required in China that they must test on animals, I really don't think that's right. Especially if I thought there's any chance of them testing on cats. That's uh, the reason why I start. I started to donate to her, rather at least one time, I donated to an organization called White Coat Waste Project. White Coat Waste refers to the government-funded animal experiments in labs. Some of it's for the Veterans Administration. Um, I think that, I don't know if there's other governmental organizations, but anyway, they take millions and millions of your tax dollars and they use it to buy cats, and dogs and primates like beagles and you know rats and mice but especially the dog and cats that should be that should bother you guys i don't know what anybody who watches me what bothers me. i know a lot of you are cat lovers like i am so wouldn't you be horrified to know that they take defenseless defenseless innocent intelligent friendly animals like an animal you might have Disgusting, and your tax dollars are paying for it. And I got one day, I got an email about them killing millions of kittens, and I just lost it. And I PayPal them ten dollars, and that was like, I can't afford to go throwing away all kinds of money on charitable donations. I can't, you know, charity begins at home, and I'm really having a tough year. My family's having a tough year. This COVID, a lot of it's affecting a lot of people. So I'm not crying to blues. I'm not, you know, there's always people worse off than you. But anyway, that when I heard what was going, what they were doing to these cats, it made me absolutely sick. And I support veterans' issues. My father was a Korea War vet. I love our veterans, okay? I, I love the idea that there are people that will serve in an all-volunteer army that love our country enough to want to go out in harm's way and do things that, I never showed any in the inclination to be brave enough to do when I was young enough to seriously consider that stuff, you know. Back then, all I could think of was having to wear a uniform and the discipline, and but especially the having to look normal, not being able to wear makeup, not being able to color my hair, all those things that I would have had to compromise 
and I just could not see it. I still can't see it, but if not for that, there's a part of me that would love the thrill of doing something big for a very just cause, helping other people, fighting wars, combating bad guys, saving vulnerable people, doing all those great things that our armed forces do. But then you also have to think about that when you're in there, you don't get to choose where you're set and what you're told to do. So even though you may have certain things that would be your philosophical goals for it, what if you were sent to do other things, you know? And so you have to... And I didn't start thinking about my personal connection to the idea of doing something like that until after 9-11. And, you know, you, you find out that they have certain physical fitness requirements and certain medical requirements and... They do background checks and they go into your history real deep and they take a lot of things into account, including your chronological age, and they cut things off at a really early point because they want nothing but the fittest and youngest and the strongest and the most, you know, they don't want people that might have some arthritis and might occasionally hit their ankle when you're trying to sidestep landmines and maybe carry your sick, injured brother to safety and you can't have that arthritis. Say hello. Don't forget about me now. So, yeah. All right, time for some cheat color. Well, my sinuses are starting to really go cuckoo. Okay. And I have lots of options today. Uh, I would like to go for something kind of cheery since I went for a nude lip. And I am going to just go for that Christmas star palette since it has all the colors that you would need for your cheeks. It doesn't, now it, it is nude, it is muted, but at least it's not just some shade of brown. There is a color called Up To Snow Good. And I think I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna get a nice big fluffy brush brush. I really would like to get this wrapped up soon, or at least get the makeup portion of this wrapped up soon, so I can get out of here, because I'm starting to hear some liveliness outside, and uh, I really don't want that ugliness in my video. So, okay, this up to snow good. I'm using a Vivace brush, and I'm gonna get this. Now, one thing about this palette, they do not have a mirror. And what is a makeup palette without a mirror? It just drives me cuckoo. So, okay, I'm going to use this like I would a uh, contour. I'm just going to hit just the very highest here. And then I'm going to... I'm going to get this here. And because the guy is talking really loudly. God, this is fucking shit. You know what? Here, you get in the bathroom, maybe. But you know what? I'll probably hear him here. Okay, now, the thing is, because that light was different, you really shouldn't use light for one side. It's different from the light on the other side. But I'm going to see. Um, I don't know. Get up, up against this wall. Okay. Now I'm going to go back, and I'm going to get the highlighter from here. And I'm going to Oh, and they're still doing the ghetto bullshit. Oh, man. Okay, I don't want to use this highlighter here because it's a little too subtle. And I want a highlighter that you can actually see on me. The highlighter is here. Well, the one that's supposed to be a highlighter, it is too dark. And when you're really, 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 really pale like myself, you really need a pale highlighter. You know what? I got to use these. And here's what I'm going to use for my brush. I really want to get the heck out of this room. These people are, all of a sudden, they've decided that they're missing out on their favorite drug dealing spot. So um, I'm going to, okay. All right, now. 
I'm going to use this highlighting palette from Kat Von D. This is the Alchemist Holographic Palette. And if you hear drug dealing sounds out here, this unfortunately is infamous alley. There are three colors, four colors in here. Look. And I think I'm going to go with the emerald green one. So I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. And this is a B&H Cosmetics Vegan Brush. And you know what? Because this light is really weird here, it's hard for me to see. So I'm just going to get this really good. Then I'm going to get up against the bathroom here. And I'm just going to go where the light would hit it. Then I'm going to put this back down. And I'm going to... me. And it makes me angry. It makes me feel like I have no place in my own home where I can film. And going where the light hits. It just makes me feel like I'm not welcome where I live. Uh, where That's how I feel. Not me. My life doesn't matter. Here, to cover your nose, I like to take a fluffy brush like that and squeeze it like this. It makes it nice and narrow. And you could go right down here. Then I'm going to go a little bit at the temple. I mean, at the Cupid's bow. Then there's a little bit of color still left. And I'm just going to go like this. Like this. There. Now I'm actually using my computer monitor to see. And I'm going to look in the mirror of my over my bathroom sink right now to see... Okay. Alrighty. Now, I really, like I said, I really do want to get out of here because um, the natives are getting restless and they are making me feel unwelcome in my own home. This is why we want to move out of here so desperately. You know, I don't have a soundproof studio. I would love to be able to make something like that. But then again, I need to be able to monitor what's going on outside, too. All right. Let's see if I can... Uh, let's see what this looks like in other places. Uh, let's look in my room, in my back studio. What do you think? Do you like this? I keep on thinking. Sometimes I start these things, and they end up... Um, I miss something, I forget something before I'm done. Okay. You know what? Oh, yeah, I was supposed to do a top by letter. Need one? You know what? I don't think I need one. Okay, so this is a look that I came up with. It's got golds, blues, and greens in it. So if you want to do holiday makeup, but you can't go anywhere because it's a pandemic, and you've got your Zoom, or you've got your Skype, and you've got it, maybe it's for your synagogue, or maybe it's for your church, or maybe it's for your workplace, and you're having your party in your living room or in your bedroom and you're all dressed up at least from the top and then on the bottom well maybe you're just wearing tights that are made to look like designer jeans i think these pants i want to show them to you for a minute these pants are actually spandex pants and they're not jeans they're actually tights and if you feel just and if you look at them really closely you could see skulls and tribal stuff, and it's all a print. And this top, I really love, even though it's way, 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 way too large. I just tied it up just so I could wear it. I might get rid of it after this. I don't know. Um, it's something that I acquired a couple of days ago. Uh, and anyway, uh, yeah. So, oh, and you like this necklace? I got it from a friend. It is so gothic. I didn't bother with earrings this time because I figured, you know, let the ruffles of the shirt do the talking. Let the makeup do the talking. So, do you like the look? Oh, I bet I know something else you like. Look. Oh, ten boy, my baby cat. I love my baby. I love you. Oh, my baby. Look who I got. Look at my baby cat. He's so good. Did you ever get your chicken soup? Oh, you chicken. You've been cooking chicken all day and all night. Well, no, not, not in nighttime. 
Oh, cat, 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 cat. I'm going to put this up here. And then I'm going to um, get my tanny boy. Hold on. Look who I have. Oh, look who I have. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He is not losing any weight. No, he's not. See, I want you to see. You think I have pretty eyes. Look at his eyes. Oh, look at the eyes of my pussycat. Now, let's, I want to, do, whoops, examine the makeup. Do you like it? I think I haven't forgotten anything. This was my gold, blue, and green eyeshadow look for holidays. Weird pandemic holiday where we can't go anywhere, but we could do it all online. And if you got some extra palettes you haven't used for a while, Pick out some golds and some greens and some blues and, you know, play with your makeup and stay home and, you know, and only get half dressed. So uh, you stay safe and hopefully we'll be getting this vaccine soon. And this, this terrible pandemic will be in our rearview mirror and 2021 has to be a better year. Right? Right, Terry boy? Uh-huh. Oh, all right. Oh, that's my arm. Ah. All right. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, I'd love to have you subscribe. Until then, follow me in my adventures and uh, stay safe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.